recording. <laughs> Thank you. Well, then I'm, I'm going to summarize just for the recording. Yeah. Are we on, uh, Georg? Yes, it's going. Okay. So just summarizing, uh, Asen and me were discussing about the use cases. And my conclusion, and send you say if you share it, is that use cases should be specific to what uh, people submitting the use cases want. And uh, it's not that important if they could be, could be made more general. That's something that, that we should be exploring when we are working with a general approach, uh, goal question metric for the focus area in general. So that the specific uh, uh, use case can be, in the end, uh, a particular case of what we need to consider in a more general way when we are discussing the focus area in general. In the specific case of uh, Ray, for instance, what we can do is to consider what he says, which is basically I want to define experienced contributors this way, and I want to focus on this and these questions, and convert that into, the, into a use case. And the important thing is that the way we define the focus area considers this use case as one particular instance of the things that can be done in the focus area. But the focus area should be more general. And all the things that we are discussing, for instance, about how to define contributions or how to define experienced users and something, could be parameters for the families of metrics in the uh, more general focus area, right? So if, if you agree, we can follow on working with this. And again, I'm proposing it mostly as a kind of uh, moving this forward, testing whether it works, and if it works, go on. If not, in a couple of months, we can revert to any other way of working, okay? So yeah. basically, yeah. I'm, so, yep. Okay. So in, in this case, if you don't yes. mind, just uh, write some comment in the in the in the direction that you agree, and uh, I'm going to produce the PR based on what uh, Ray said, and so that he can also yep. maintain it. Okay. Uh, I will do that. Okay. Thank you. So from the point of view of the procedure. This is going to be the first case where we move from the issue state, let's say, where we're discussing the, the, the case in general, to the PR state, where we are going to produce an actual text and now start to discuss on the details that we write. Okay, so no more general discussion about the use case, but now we can discuss about the specific uh, wording of how we, we write it. Okay. Yes, my internet connection is unstable. <laughs> okay, well, you can do it later, never mind. Then, uh, according, to okay. the agenda, according to the agenda, use cases were the first thing. This is the only one that we have open right now. I'm probably going to have a second one with uh, somebody from Uber. I'm talking to, to them, but I've been talking for a couple of weeks, and I still don't have any specific text right now, but I hope to have it one. So maybe during the next... I have some... I have a use case from uh, some community managers that I need Great. to put in as well. Okay. So. Then I, I suggest that, that you start writing the ticket or, or they start writing the ticket, I mean the issue, as soon as possible yeah. so that we can start discussing it. Yeah. Okay. Then if there is nothing else about use cases, we can move to pull requests, which is mm -hmm. the, the next step. And uh, I have a question I, real quick. The use cases, do you write them or do you ask the community managers to write them? So the idea it would depends. be that, oh, sorry, it was for Sam. So Sam, go ahead. I, I think it depends. Um, in my case, I've talked to a lot of different community managers, so I'd probably synthesize and write it. Um, Ray is kind of a unique case because he's very highly engaged in the community and has been for a while probably uh, better able to articulate it than and kind of know how we're doing. Yeah, I think the important thing okay. is to, make, to have them as much involved as possible. On the other hand, we also need use cases so that people learn how use cases are and they can think of, mm -hmm. this is my use case by, by example, you know. So, um, so if you summarize the use case and write it up, do you verify that it captures their um, working correctly by giving it back to them? Or what's the process there? So well, I, I would say that the, the ideal thing would be, while we're discussing the ticket, if you look at Ray's, he started with a description. The description can be something that Chain or you write. And then you tell to the stakeholders, do you think I captured well this? Comment in the ticket if you want. Or tell me and I comment for you. 
So that the important thing is to get the feedback. In some cases, people may be uh, ready to provide the feedback directly in the ticket. In some other cases, maybe they talk to you and you can come to the ticket and write, uh, some community manager said whatever. And, uh, and then we can work with the use case from that point of view. I think that when this is working, the communities themselves are going to produce the use cases and they're going to discuss and so on. But, but for a while, I think we need this rolling, so. Okay, um, thank you. Okay, then anything else about use cases? Okay, not, then. Not from my perspective. I see there's a vocabulary section. Okay, yeah. The next one would be the pull request, which the only one is uh, the section on vocabulary. And uh, so well, I'm, looks... I'm just proposing to accept it, of course, but yep. it would be convenient. I, that think, I think it's just a start. Looks good. Okay. So, so I'll merge it. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I, I, like I, said, I was explaining the history at the beginning. I've been at a conference for the last week, so. Yeah, don't don't mind. So, so catching up. Same happens. Same <laughs> happens to me many weeks. So, it's just a matter of uh, it's just a matter of doing it uh, when we can. Yep. Yeah. Nothing else. The meeting makes me look at yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, with respect to issues, I don't have a specific command step for what we are talking in the in the tickets themselves so for for the um, the two tickets that Tim you have assigned you work, yep. work, work on them when you want where you can I'll have them or, done. I'll have them done before the next meeting okay perfect but if you are in a hurry or something let me know I can probably uh, work on them too so okay. I, I know what is the spending in a week in a conference so don't, don't mind about that <laughs> I'm fortunate I'm not teaching this semester, so it's okay. not as bad as it ordinarily would be. I, okay. should, I, I will be able to get to this before next okay. week. Okay, okay, great. And then I have nothing else with issues. Any other comment or? No. Nope. Okay, and uh, the last issue in the agenda is, the last item in agenda is talking about the first focus area. So I'm proposing this because my feeling is that we should start working with this top-down approach. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably we should select one of those and start working on them. If more than one people want to, to work with them, we can select more than one focus area. But for now, we can start with one. So what do you think? Um, yeah, I think start with one. And there's a... I'm just looking at code developed, and I thought I thought we went. I thought Carter and I went through and fixed the broken links. So I'm just wondering what we did that the links are broken again. Which or, links are broken? Uh, under code development, there's the goal code development markdown file, and the I don't know if we. Okay. Yeah, I see some metrics are not um, working. Yeah, and I'm not. I don't remember. But the thing, uh, at least a part of this was fixed, but maybe not all of it. I or maybe... thought it was. Okay, well, we can work on that anyway. But my, my, my proposal was to start working, as we said, top down, like people in diversity and inclusion are doing. So I start by thinking about the goal or goals and the general mm -hmm. description of what we mean by, in this case, code development as a focus area. And, uh, so Mm -hmm. And I think that the first thing would just, be uh, to, just to interrupt there. Uh, and all the links are broken because the uh, metrics folder was renamed. Okay. So we just need to go through and change all the uh, links yeah. to replace the uh, metrics folder change. Yeah. Now I remember because I proposed the change for for the directory, but I forgot about the metrics names and and the links. So sorry about that. That's my fault. No, no, no worries. So I'm going to open a, an, uh, an issue for fixing this mm -hmm. right now. So meanwhile, I was talking about the scope. Yep. Because, uh, first thing we should define is whether we want to focus on code development or think about contribution the contributions in general, which is something that a discussion that popped up when we were talking about race use case. 
I mean, I think um, code develop code development. So when I think of contributions in general, I think there is code development and there's issue management. And the, the third primary kind is, is documentation. I, I think in a lot of cases, at least on the projects that I participate in, the documentation is actually handled through the code development process in many cases. So I don't know if we need a separate uh, focus area for documentation. I don't know if we don't either. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think we can either focus on something more specific and stick to code yep. or try to be a bit more general and try to deal with contributions. Contributions from the point of view of, uh, let's say, contributions to the artifacts produced. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not talking about uh, reporting backs, for instance, which is also a contribution from the point of view of the project, but it's not really a contribution to the artifacts. So I would say yeah. co code, yeah or uh, documentation or images or documents or, or stuff like that right i would be inclined to i would be inclined to focus on code development more narrowly only because it gives us a smaller space to work in and makes it it just closes off a bunch of the kinds of questions that i had mm -hmm. in, in the case of ray's use case and says this is about code and uh, and there are a lot of metrics just around code that we should talk about and we don't need then and once we have those defined i think it's actually easier to start talking about the broader definition of contribution and how issues and documentation or other forms of contribution might tie into that mm -hmm. if that makes sense to you yeah that makes sense so um basically your proposal is to be more specific right and uh, yeah i think so code is code just focus on that first yeah that, that, that's good what do you think? I mean, the rest of the people. That's Kevin and Georg. I agree so, with getting the low hanging fruits first and then expanding from a working example. Also agree. Got to start somewhere. <laughs> okay. So in, in, in that case, uh, what we can do if, if, if you want is I can open a, an issue about defining the scope which basically we are going to say this, and then defining the goals. For defining the goals, I, 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 would, I would say that we can uh, um, discuss on the ticket as we did for the race use case. But the idea would be, we want to understand code contributions. So mm -hmm. what kind of general goals we have with respect to that? So we kind of specific goals when we say learning about code contributions, right? That's what we that would define the general goals, and then based on that, we are going to define the questions, right? So right now, if you look at uh, at the file focus areas, code development, um, the goal is defined only when with one one sentence. Identify how effective the community is at merging new code into the code base. So the idea would be to first of all see whether that goal captures everything that we want to know about code development, or maybe there are some other things, because this is <laughs> for instance on how effective the community is, and that maybe there are other things. And uh, second, try to define- The two that, that have come up in- Sorry, go ahead. The two constructs that have come up in discussions I've had with, around code are velocity, Mm -hmm. that, that these these are, are so those are maybe concepts that we want to, mm -hmm. and of course as we learned when we we're talking to very different community managers are going to evaluate those constructs or concepts differently mm -hmm. they look at commits some may look at lines of code some may look at a synthesis of those pull mm -hmm. requests sometimes matter and sometimes don't i think those mm -hmm. are Mm -hmm. So I think, but I think any any code thing that we want to look at is going to have the dimensions of trajectory and velocity mm -hmm. that incorporate mm -hmm. time as time as a filter or parameter. So a, another related topic could be quality, because some people are interested in quality or at least mechanisms for having quality. I mean, for instance, deciding whether uh, uh, at least I have code review or I have testing or stuff like that, right? I, I can yeah I think quality is definitely an issue I, it's 
it's harder to define because it's more subjective and uh, project specific and there's there's more debate um, but maybe I agree quality, maybe quality since, is part of it. since we are since we are talk, mainly talking about processes and communities here maybe we can focus on whether the project is using processes for improving quality like are they using code review for all commits or like uh, are they having testing for every commit for every change that they have they have a corresponding test uh, stuff like that which you know are processes that help to have better quality and you are not really saying this has better quality but you says this project has processes for improving quality so what do you think um yeah i think or, or maybe we can discuss in the issue right no, no, I think, I think, I think we do. I think the processes for quality are a good way to look at it and the presence or absence of code reviews and the coverage of code reviews are, mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. are, those are things that can be measured and yeah. they're, they're process measures, like you said, but I, th I think in most projects that I've been a part of in the open source community, those, the, these code reviews happen in, they often don't happen, frankly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and w and when they when they do, it's I think a good thing, but they often don't happen. So simply, almost it, it, it's not binary, but almost the binary of is there. Any yeah. Um, and, and and the same happens. The same happens with testing, for instance. In some cases, yeah. they are testing or they have very test coverage or not. But they still having some metrics about that, even if they are sort of binary, could be interesting. I think. Yeah, I, and I see testing in addition to code reviews as being another, so if a project, I mean, that's another, having testing is a signal of quality. Mm -hmm. I, see, I see code reviews recorded on projects, like we don't have, like Augur is pretty typical things I participate in. We, we don't do code reviews per se, but we've written a lot of tests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so if if you want what they can what we can do is i open the ticket just uh, calling it focus okay. or something and i yep. start with these things that we are commenting now but please okay uh, add anything you may want and what we co can do is to discuss there for a week or maybe two if needed we can send an email to the mailing list saying we are discussing this specific focus area in this issue come there if you have something to say mm -hmm. and then we can summarize after one or two weeks we can summarize and add that to the code development uh, file, let's say, yep. identifying the goals. And from there, we can go on refining to the questions and, uh, and finally the metrics. Yep. Which I think is basically what you are trying to do in the diversity and inclusion group. And Georg, you are more, more familiar with that. Is, is that right? Sorry, what was the exact question? Whether this process of starting by trying to define the goals carefully and then go to the questions and then go to the metrics is basically what you are trying to do in the diversity and inclusion working group too. Yes, we started with the goals and refine it all the way down. And right now we are at the leaves of the process where we define the details for the metrics okay, and how great. to collect data and so on. Right, so th this would put us in the same line of the diversity on inclusion cl in too. So let's just start with the goals and see what happens with this code development thing. And then we can expand to other focus areas. Okay. Yep. Then I'm, I'm opening the ticket about that as soon as possible. And... Uh, okay. And uh, that's all from my side, I think. And I don't have anything to add, so we can conclude this uh, this recording with our usual end of meeting song. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, which Georg usually sings. Oh, now I'm the one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. I can also right. dance Good. to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to see everybody. Okay. See you next week. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.